Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be checking out the Optronics license plate holder for enclosed trailers. So with these enclosed trailers, you know, um, a lot of times they, they really take a beating. You know, people use them for work, they get stored outside, the doors are always getting open and closed. And what can happen is, you know, the plate frame can kind of just fall apart. You know, it starts to get brittle, it'll crack and uh, everything else. And Keeping your license plate attached to your trailer is really important. That way, you know, you'll remain legal and, um, you know, everything will be good to go there. So this setup is going to work as a great replacement, and that was our case today. Um, even an upgrade, you know, if you have one that's kind of flimsy and, and gives you issues and your plate gets all beat up because of it, or even as a brand new one, you know, if your door got damaged and you ended up replacing the door or sectioning the door. Uh, you don't want to put an old raggedy license plate holder back on it. So you can just pick up a new one and add it where you need it. I know what I'd be thinking uh, whenever I put one of these on my enclosed trailer and it would be, you know, how long is it going to hold up? Is it going to last for a while? I don't want to have to change this thing every time I change my plate. And honestly, after kind of checking it out, I'd seen really no issues getting, getting quite, uh, quite a bit of use out of it, five, maybe 10 years, something like that, if I had to guess, unless something catastrophic happened, you got rear-ended or something like that. It feels good, it's well-built, it's super thick plastic. It has a couple radiuses there, and so, you know, when it bends like that, that does add strength to the frame. And I mean, even just getting scuffed and everything, I mean, I'm hitting this pretty hard, the hard screwdriver handle, and it's not even leaving a scuff or a nick in it. So uh, pretty impressive actually. So I really think it could take a beating and uh, hold up to it. One of the purposes of using a plate holder like this is to help keep your trailer in a little bit better shape. Cause I know I thought, well, why don't you just screw the license plate right to the back of the door? Uh, the problem with that is a lot of times um, when you have metal on metal, it can cause corrosion issues. Um, and you know really start to mess your paint up and, and really kind of start to pit the metal because a lot of times you know you'll have an aluminum door the plate will be made from steel and when you make them together you get water going all back there you get a lot of corrosion and it kind of just tears everything up so by having a holder like this you know you're going to have that thick layer of plastic in between those two pieces of metal and you're not going to have to worry about that issue we'll go ahead and just grab a couple measurements here that way if you need them you have them if you need to figure out if it'll work with your particular setup. So the overall length of it from side to side is gonna be 14 and one quarter of an inch. As far as how wide it is, so from there to there, it's gonna be eight and five sixteenths of an inch. And the depth, so how thick it is, that's going to be 13 sixteenths of an inch. So at the end of the day, kind of a great, you know, all around, almost universal license plate holder. You know, it's ideal for these enclosed trailers, but that doesn't mean that you can't use it for a different type of trailer or maybe even a cargo carrier. You know, for the most part, um, universal. So you can use it however you see fit. Now, as far as getting this installed, um, really straightforward. There's gonna be a few screws that we need to put in to actually secure the holder. And then of course, your couple screws for your license plate. So really shouldn't give you a whole lot of issues. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and put it on together now. To get our license plate holder installed, it's gonna be super simple and pretty much the same uh, regardless on what type of enclosed trailer that you have. Now there's gonna be a couple scenarios where you're replacing an existing one like we are today, whether it be damaged, you know, faded, cracked, whatever the case may be, or you might be adding it. Um, but that said, you know, process is gonna be uh, extremely similar. If you are going to be replacing uh, one, you are going to obviously need to remove it. In our case, our screws came right out, but it seems like uh, some people struggle with having hardware that's really rusty or stripped out or something like that. And if that's your case, never a bad idea to soak them down, maybe with some penetrating oil, let them sit, maybe work overnight, a couple hours or something like that. Or what you can do as well, so say for example, if the bit was stripped out, or the inside of the fastener, what you can do, a lot of times these aren't in here super tight. A lot of times what you can do is grab a pair of vice grips and actually clamp the head of that bolt 
and uh, you know work it out that way so that gives you a nice good grip on it so just kind of a pointer something I wanted to mention it seems like some people kind of struggled with but with that said we can take our holder and in our case super simple the pre-drilled holes in it are already going to line up with the holes in our enclosed trailer if you're going to be adding this and not replacing it what you do is find the spot you know that you want to put it hold it in place and then you'd take a, a marker or pencil and use those pre-drilled holes as templates to mark out uh, where you need to pre-drill and run your fasteners in if you are going to be replacing it be an ideal time just to get new hardware and use that um, that way everything's cleaned up you can find these self tappers here at each trailer that's exactly what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna kind of get that started and then use the bolt to kind of line itself up that way we know everything will fit in the original position so i kind of hold that in place there run that down and i'll just do the same thing for our three remaining attachment points Now all that's left to do is just take your license plate and put it on. That's pretty nice actually. They do uh, give you some screws with the holder here. So these will be fresh as well. We'll get both of them started and just tighten them down. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Optronics license plate holder.